The Umrun project um, is the expansion of Rio Tinto's Weepa bauxite um, operations um, in far north Queensland. It was a greenfield expansion, quite remote. It has been largely untouched land of our Wikwaya people, traditional owners. So a great amount of respect for the land and how we went about construction was required. It was a collaborative approach between the owner's team, the um, Vectel as our manager, Jacobs as our um, designer and McConnell Dale as our constructor. So the collaboration that's required to you know, put their safety first, our environment needs, our traditional owners and the long-term operations working together, it took innovation for us to, and, and we can only do that when we work together. So Bechtel's role in the Cheat Export Facility was to be the project management contractor, um, the EPCM, so it was our job to bring all of the contractors and the designers together, uh, build the teams and execute the work on behalf of Rio Tinto. Early in the, the export facility design, we engaged McConnell Dow to work with our designer Jacobs to introduce constructability into the design. So really what we did was early contractor involvement that really allowed constructability and, and the, I guess the can-do attitude of the McConnell Dale constructors to influence the design that Jacobs brought to the table. And from a collaboration point of view, we also had the, the teams come together and work within the same building, occupy the same space, and spend time together uh, learning to, to deal with each other and work with each other prior to heading to site. The design philosophy, I guess, was driven by schedule, uh, the need to reduce the, the construction time uh, and, and the need to provide a high, quality, uh, a high quality solution, which the modular approach gives you because you, you're building and finishing those modules in a factory, not over water. We modularised the substructure, so the substructure is the where traditionally you drove piles into the seabed um, and now we, we're using jackets. There were seven jackets which formed the modular substructure. They required 28 piles to anchor them into the seabed rather than a traditional wharf which would have been about 110 piles for that size wharf. So the dolphin forces are taken directly into the seabed um, and the, and the wharf basically sits on top of the jacket so that uh, lateral forces are basically independent of the wharf as per normal. Uh, it's just that it all comes out as, as one large pre-assembled module. Dolphin decks, uh, fenders, fender face plates, chains, walkways, the whole lot are on uh, within the factory and then the whole lot is shipped to site using heavy lift ship and installed. So the, the reduction in time is quite dramatic. Uh, which we've proved. Leadership on, on the Amrun uh, Chith facility to me was something that I embrace as an individual and it's something that means a lot to me. The management team were very committed. The integrated team from Rio Bechtel were very committed as well. And we got together and mapped out exactly what our expectations were as senior managers that cascaded down through the management team right down to the workforce. Some of the challenges that we had on the Amron facility were back to the offshore bit to start with because you can't install it without building it and fabricating it. Geographically um, shipping you know, to and from China all the time to be able to get stuff to site was a challenge. The key to success was the integrated team and about people having that open, honest approach. I'm years to come, um, my reflections on the Chief Wharf um, and the team that built it um, will be um, something of um, pride. They worked as one team, they put safety first, they thought of new ways to construct and pioneered the solution for Rio Tinto.